The pronunciation is Hornai. Hornai's Cat Theory. Karen Hornai. Also known as Hornai's Personality Theory or Hornai's Theory of Neurotic Needs. I prefer to call it as Hornai's Cat Theory because it makes it easier to understand. And obviously, CAD, C A D, stands for something. They are compliance, aggression, and detachment. You are either moving towards people, or moving away from people, or moving against people. Compliance is when you are moving towards people. These people want some sort of acceptance from others. Aggression means you're moving against people. These people see others as tools for something they can gain. And detachment is moving away from people. These people do not rely on anyone for their needs. And now, before I continue, this is not like Maslow's hierarchy of needs where if one is fulfilled, then a person moves on to the next need. There are three general categories of needs, but there are actually 10 types of needs. One person can have more than one of these needs to some extent, and marketers cater to these needs while designing a marketing campaign. The problem is when the needs become extreme, that is when it turns into neurosis. And any of these needs to the extreme level is bad. I'm not going to go too deep with the theory of neurosis. This video is for understanding consumer behavior. Now let's move on with the individual needs. The first need is to seek approval from others and being liked by others. Moving towards others. You will see companies with advertising messages that implies buying their product will get you liked by others. And if you attract these type of people, your marketing campaign should be designed accordingly. Then there is the need for love. Love from a special someone. And there are countless companies that try to sell their products that show that you have that need to find someone that you want to love. Once again, a reminder, this need that is the need for love and a partner can become extreme. That is, a person can put their own self-worth and value into other people. That is not good. Then you have the need for prestige, social recognition. You will be the center of the attention everywhere you go. I don't really need to talk about any examples here, do I? We probably know one or two people like these in every situation, showing off whatever they have. They attach their own value with the things they own. It is easier to cater to this kind of needs, that is, if you are selling this kind of product. Then you get the people that require personal admiration. They want you to admire them for everything they are and everything they have. The only thing is, they sometimes do not have the qualities that they want your admiration for. So, marketers can cater to a specific admirable cause and tell people that if you buy from them, people will admire you by comparison. The next need is need for power. People that seek power. They like to have control over others. They do not like any form of helplessness in any situations with anyone. And if you think about it, nobody wants to feel helpless. But this need can be a little extreme. The people in this category will go out of their way to seek power and force their own will over others. Need for exploitation. They are slightly similar to the previous category as in both of them are being aggressive towards others. But the people in this category, well they will try to manipulate everyone around them with any lies and deceitful tactics they are aware of. 
even if the people around them are more quote unquote powerful than them. They will try to manipulate others and they pride themselves on their manipulation tactics. I did not really talk about how to attract these people in your marketing campaigns. That is because you probably should not. Then you have people that want to achieve greatness. Achieving greatness is good. But on the extreme cases, people think that if they are not the best at something, nobody will like them and their self-worth is tied to their achievement. Sometimes companies advertise their products as something that, that you will need, absolutely need, to be the very best at whatever it is you are doing. They will say that you need this type of pen to be a successful student or something. The need for self-sufficiency. Independence. Well, I don't need no one. I am enough. There are companies whose products are marketed as what the lone person needs to be self-sufficient. Then there are people for whom achieving greatness is not enough. They have to be perfect in every single way possible. They will always scrutinize and try to find any flaws in themselves. And as soon as they find any flaw, they will try to either perfect it or hide it from everyone. This in turn will give them a lot of anxiety. The last kind of people are complete shut-ins. They want to go unnoticed by everyone everywhere. For various reasons, they really do want a quiet and peaceful life by detaching from everything and everyone. The difference between these type of people and the people that need independence is the people that require independence can mix with other people, but they will be self-sufficient. But the people in this category might not be even self-sufficient, but they will be conducting their lives in a very narrow margin. Now we know about different needs of different people. And a good marketer knows what kind of people are likely to buy from them. That is their target market. Then they will find out the needs present in that specific market segment and cater to their needs. Fulfill those needs. This is a topic business students, especially marketing majors need to know as it falls under the umbrella of consumer behavior. Anyway, if you have any questions, you can comment below. I might answer it below or I might make a separate community post answering the question. You can also like, share and subscribe. You can also directly support me on Patreon if you would want to support whatever it is I am doing in this channel. Now time for a small bonus section. Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1907 Edward Buckner He found out that fermentation did not require any living cells. That was a short bonus. And this is the official end of this video. Remember to take care of yourself. And thank you so much for watching if you are still watching. I really hope you have learned something new today. Goodbye for now.